What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we got ourselves a pretty cool Series 3 team for you guys today. We are rocking out with a T-Tar and Lycanroc Sandstream team alongside with Indeedee and Armourish combo. And then we got ourselves Breloom, one of my favorite Gen 3 and Grass type Pokemons of all time. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But something I also want to mention is happy Memorial Day to everybody who is celebrating this holiday. And if you do not celebrate the holiday, hopefully you're having an amazing day as well. Just want to get that out the way and just uh say happy Memorial Day because, you know, everybody has a day off over in the States. So if you're watching from the States... Hopefully you're enjoying it. But we got T-Tar for our first Pokemon for today's team preview. And T-Tar, absolutely amazing. This one actually has a ground terror type. So it's a bit different from the normal T-Tar rocking the flying terror type. It's got Sandstream, the clear amulet as item, Rock Slide, Stomp and Catch Up, Low Kick, and Protect for its four moves. To pair up with T-Tar, it's going to be his best friend. It is going to be Lycanroc with Sand Rush to double its speed in that Sandstorm. It has Focus Ash, then it's Rock and Rock Slide, Stone Edge for heavy stab damage, Endeavor for a really good move, especially with the Focus Ash, and then you got Protect for its final move. In our third slot, we got Indeedy. Indeedy is going to be able to pair up with Armors really, really well, so I actually really like this combo. It has Psychic Surge, a Rocky Helmet as item, Psychic, Fake Out, Follow Me, and Helping Hand. To pair up with that Indeedy is that arm moves with the weak armor and the Shuka Berry, expanding force, heat wave, clear smog, and destiny bond for its four moves. Something that I don't like about this Indeedy and arm moves combo is they're not rocking Trick Room, right? That's a little weird. A lot of the times both of them have Trick Room and one of them is there to set it up for, but for this instance, none of them do. So this one's going to feel weird if we're going to rock out with it. Hopefully we get to use it, grab some wins with it. We got Chiyu as our only Legends of Ruin Pokemon on today's team with the Beads of Ruin and a Life Orb as its item. It's got Heat Wave, Dark Pulse, Terror Blast to protect. It can get a lot of work done on its own. Final Pokemon on today's team is my boy Breloom. Absolutely love this Pokemon, love its typing, and I just love everything about it. It has Technician, which is an amazing ability, the Covert Cloak as its item, and it's rocking Bullet Seed, Mach Punch, Aerial Ace, and Spore. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this T-Tar, Lycanroc, and Breedloom team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Chiyu team alongside with Delibird and Fluttermane. And then they got three really cool Pokemon. I mean, Amoongus, not so cool, but Scizor alongside with, is that Water Tauros? Two very cool Pokemon. Cannot wait to burst them. Hopefully, we get to grab ourselves a win here. But I actually played my first match already, and I made both the opponent quit in one turn. So I was like, I don't really want to upload that and make it a short video. So I just kind of pushed that to the side. I legit led uh, Lycanroc and Titar. Just double rock side, picked up a double kill, and our opponent just turned off their console, which is kind of funny. So this is our real first match for today's video. But who do I think they're going to lead? potentially chi Yu and like Fluttermane and all that good stuff so i kind of want to go into like chi Yu and breloom of my own i kind of actually really like breloom especially with terrestrialization as a really good terror type so i might just go breloom here and i might just lead it with like hmm, maybe even like rock i could lead it with i mean maybe just protect the turn have them attack us think that we're going like into the sandstorm because i do like like rock i really do like like rock i could go chi Yu if i want to as a lead, because Chiyu's not bad for a lead, right? I don't think Chiyu is terrible for a lead, especially with mock punches, we can really get after this battle. So you know what? I'm gonna go Chiyu, and then I'm just gonna bring Sandstorm combo in the back end. I really do like the Sandstorm combo. I'm ready to rock out with it. Let's lock it in, let's lock it down, and look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I wonder who they're gonna lead, because again, this, like, the whole Deli Bird kind of combo really does me dirty. I could mock punch him. I mean, mock punch is gonna be really, really good. Technician. Stab, super effective onto a few of these guys. I could definitely get down with that. But he's going to go Chi Yu and Scissor. So, okay. I, I don't mind that too much. I got Chi Yu of my own. And we could see a Terrasalize from him. I could Mach Punch. I'm definitely going to Terrasalize my Breloom, right? Definitely want to Terrasalize my Breloom. And you know what? I'm just going to put you to sleep. I think uh, Scissor might even Terrasalize or even Protect. And I might just Heat Wave across the board. Or you know what, I could say screw it, put nobody sleep, and just mock punch into you. Actually, terrestrialize and mock punch, just in case the fire move wants to come across. And then just go into a heat wave across the board, right? Definitely my best bet. Like, scissor probably gonna terrestrialize into, like, fire or something. But we'll deal with that when the time comes, right? I'm cool with that. So I'm terrestrializing. He might not be terrestrializing. 
he's not, dude, Heatwave's going through some big-time damage. So here comes my Breloom, straight Fire-type. I really do like its, its Terror-type on this team. So we're getting started with a little bit of off-meta Pokemon here. We get a loop. My dog. Are they Terrasalizing? They gotta be, right? Yeah. So if I had to guess, that's gonna be a nice little Scissor Terra. Probably a straight Fire Scissor, right? Let's see. Now it's gonna be straight Water, which I don't really mind. I got Bullet Seed ready to go. I got Bullet Seed ready to go for that. I do got Bullet Seed. She is gonna end up protecting. Okay, that's not too bad. But if he has Terra Blast, ooh. That could be bad. That could do me a little wrong. That could definitely do me a little wrong. That could definitely do me a little wrong. So Heatwave's gonna fire. He's gotta have Terra Blast. Give me a burn on this thing. Give me a burn. Give me a burn. Lower its attack damage. No burn. I'm gonna lose some HP. He's gonna Terra Blast. He's gonna take me out. Terra Blast is terrifying. I'm definitely gonna have to Bullet Seed that thing down. He's gonna take me out. Um, he might even protect this turn. He gets a crit. I was dead regardless. And from here, I might just bring out... If I bring out T-Tar, I could bring out Lycanroc. I don't like Lycanroc here. So I'm going to bring out the Lycanroc. Whew. I'm going to bring out the Lycanroc. And you know what? I am just going to go into the Bullet Seed. And try to get rid of that. And I'm going to go for a Stone Edge. I'm going to say screw it and just try to rip a Stone Edge into Chiyu. I'm going to try to rip a Stone Edge into Chiyu. We'll see how this one plays out here. That kind of hurts. The water terror on this Pokemon was ridiculously huge. He might even protect the scissor, knowing I'm going for a bullet seed into it. But the water terror is just so big. He ends up withdrawing the Chiyu, and who are you going to go into here? That is the real question. He's going to go into Fluttermane, so hopefully we can land a Stone Edge, because this Stone Edge could be ridiculously big. Bull Punch is going to fly, go over this slot. That's okay. We have Focus Sash. We're going to use that up. And we're going to get rid of... Uh, we are going to get rid of the what's called the scissor here. The stone edge is going to connect, which is big time. The stone edge doing some big time damage. We really like that. And we are going to take out scissor. So scissor is now gone. Um, I think from here, we just hard swap my Breloom for, for T-Tar, right? Get speed, rock side, take out the flutter main. It really depends who they go into. The problem here would be if they have Deli Deli Bird, right? That would be the problem because he's just so fast, especially with course drive. He is just so dang fast, especially with Quirk Drive. And he goes back into Chiyu. Okay, so I can get down for this. I can get down for that. I can definitely get down for that. So from here, I'm going to swap. We need a speed. Let me see your speed. Times that by two, you are going to be faster than that Flutter main. So from here, we're just going to go to a Rock Side. We're going to get the Sand Rush rolling, and we're going to get after it. So they put us in a little bit of a hole, turn one. That Scissor with that Terra, Terra Blast taking me out was huge. That was such, such a good play. Such a good play. Was not expecting that Terra type from that scissor. Especially with Terra Blast. It worked out perfectly in their favor. But from here, we're going to swap. Thank God they didn't bring out Deli Bird because that's a problem. And we're going to see if this turn can actually be really good for us. Because if we just land this Rock Slide, I think we're sitting really good. Because they have no Terra, I have Reloom in the back end with Stab Mock Punch. First turn priority. That's really, really big for us. And we're going to try to do some big time damage, considering this move will KO Fluttermane, and it will be super effective onto that Chiyu. So Rock Slide does come through, we say bye bye to Fluttermane, and we almost KO Chiyu. So, again, really big turn for us. That was huge. That was huge. That was big time. So we'll see. Oh, we get a flinch. That's even better. We get a big time flinch, and that really puts us in a good position, because I could double protect to get rid of Chiyu. I could do that. Let's see who they end up bringing out. It's going to be Iron Bundle. So yeah, I'm just going to double protect here. I'm going to get rid of the Chiyu. And then we're going to get after that uh, the Iron Bundle. I think that's our best bet. Because I do have, again, I have the Breloom in the back end with that Mach Punch, which is going to be really, really good. So from here, I'm just going to double protect. Chiyu is going to go down to Buffets. And then we'll just take it from there. We'll make it a 2v1 on the field. I'm not trying to deal with uh, Chiyu getting a shout off, right? We might as well just let the Buffets take it out. But yo, solid first match from us so far. Again, our Chiyu went down early on, but my Breloom clutching up with big time Bullet Seeds. And swapping in the back end. And then Lycanroc and Titar are always a great combo. Especially when our opponent doesn't have any way of changing up weather. It's really, really good for us. So we go for double protect. We're going to say, Ayo, little goldfish. See you later, alligator. You're gone. You are gone. So I'm really surprised they didn't swap into Deli Bird turn one, right? I was really surprised they didn't swap into Deli Bird before that. Because, like, once you see Lycanroc, you got to think, like, Sandstorm's coming out, right? You got to think that Sandstorm is coming out, but... They made the bad play. They made the wrong play. So now it's 2v1. I can just go into a rock slide 
On top of that, I can go into another rock slide. Actually, what's higher accuracy? Rock slide's higher accuracy. I'd rather just go for the higher accuracy move. And this one ends up landing. Cool, we did outspeed it regardless. And Rock Slide's gonna be able to pick up the KO onto Deli Bird, no problem. 1 0 to get things started. Good little match from us. Let's hop through our second match and look to go back to back. Second match is on its way, and we're going up against a Jump Bluff team that I actually showcase on the channel. It is a nice little Jump Bluff team with Roaring Moon, and then on top of that, they have Torkoal to proc the Chlorophyll, and then they got Wo Chen, Chi Yu, and Fluttermane. So, I mean, weather definitely got to be brought into the back end in case they want to lead the Torkoal and the Sun Squad. So, I am going to end up bringing T Tart no matter what. So, T Tart is going to be your best friend, but who should we lead, and how should we play this one? I do kind of like Relim. I do like Relim just because it's going to be super effective with Mach Punch onto three of these Pokemon, which is really, really big for us. But then, Wo Chen can really do my physical attack as well. So, Chiyu might be a nice little lead. I could go Indeedee Armors, which I really don't mind too much. Let me see your Terra type. You're going to be Grass Terra, which I really like. So, I kind of want to go into both of them. I mean, I get they have three Dark type Pokemon, but I feel like this combo could actually be really, really good for us. So, I'm going to end up leading both of these guys. I am going to lead both of them. Cool. So yeah, we're going to bring in that combo. We are going to bring in T-Tar. T-Tar alone, or do we go T-Tar Lycanroc? I feel like T-Tar Lycanroc could be good. But I really want, like, Breloom or Chiyu. But I feel as... I feel as maybe we don't need... Actually, you know, screw it. We're going to go in with these four. We're going to say Breloom, Chiyu. We're not bringing you guys in here. Even though they could be really, really good. I kind of want to bring in Indeed and Armourage at some point in today's video. Considering... I like to showcase the whole team when I'm using it. <clears throat> but I wonder who they're going to lead. I really don't know who they're going to lead. They have a lot of different options. Jump Bluff and Torkoal could come out here. And at that point, I would just hard swap in DD and kind of just set the set the sandstorm, right? So I'm kind of hoping Torkoal does come out here turn one. It's going to be Jump Bluff alongside with War Moon. So Jumpy Luff alongside with War Moon. A little scary. I mean, I could follow me the shots. It might have to be my play. And then just have my boy do its thing, right? Actually, I could fake out. Actually, I can't fake out, can I? Why would I have fake out on this Pokemon? Am I? I don't. I can't use fake out. Why is fake out on this Pokemon? That makes no sense. Right? I can't use fake out. That makes no sense. Unless I can use. I gotta try it, right? I have to try it. It's an absolute must to try. It's an absolute must to try. I'm gonna go into a heat wave here. Actually, I'm gonna thrasilize and go into a heat wave. It's a must to try. I have to try faking out, right? Even though I'm almost positive we can't fake out. But just this person putting Indeedee with fake out on, it's weird, right? It's weird. That's weird. It's just too weird. It's really weird. So I have to try it. And maybe I made a mistake. I don't care if it doesn't work. I don't think it's gonna work. But, like, Seeing Indeedy with Fake Out, it's like, why would you have it? It has Psychic Surge every time it comes out. It makes no sense, but I don't know. Maybe I made a mistake and Indeedy can actually Fake Out, but I'm almost 100% positive that it cannot, so I don't even know why I'm doing this. It can! It can! I did not know that. That is awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. No way. Learn something new every day. I did not know that. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys knew that. But I get weak armor up, so my defense is going to drop, but my speed is going to increase, which is big time for me. Heat wave is going to fly here. It's going to almost KO the jump bluff. Wish it would have KO'd the jump bluff. And then from here, we're just going to psychic into you, and I might just expand in force across the board. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to expand in force. He might swap into Torqua at this point, which could be a possibility, but that is hilarious that you could actually fake out with Ndidi in the terrain. I did not know that. Actually, I don't think it affects psychic types. That might be a thing. That might be a thing. I'm not too sure. I forget. But still, I love it regardless. Again, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys knew that. Because I was very skeptical to go into it. I was like, why would the <laughs> why would the creator put fake out on Indeedy? But Expanded Force is going to fly. We do outspeed now, which is ridiculously huge. And we almost KO... That Roar Moon. That would have been a big time KO. Because now my um my armor is probably dead, right? Yeah. Acrobatics come through here. And we actually survived, which is big time. Big time. Weak armor coming out here. Really liking this Indeedee armor. Really liking it. 
Psyche's gonna fly here and we pick up a nice big time double kill. So now if they do have Torkoal, we can have Weather for the rest of the match because they cannot swap out. But we have T-Tar and Lycanroc chilling in the back end, which is big time. That's big time for your boy jeans. And plus Armourish is gonna be able to outspeed everything and first turn priority is allowed. So expanding forces are free right now. They're pretty much free, right? Chi Yu's gonna come out here. And who else is gonna come out here? Gonna be Wochen. Of course two dark types, right? <laughs> of course two dark types. Kinda hurts the soul. He's gonna weaken the attack stat of all of our Pokemon. Good thing we are fresh out of attack stat. And I guess I'll just helping hand this shot and go into a heat wave, right? I mean I could Destiny Bond actually. Now would be the time to Destiny Bond, to be honest with you. Now would be the time to Destiny Bond. Uh, I guess we'll just go for... I guess we'll just go for... I don't even know. But I'm going to Destiny Bond one of these Pokemon down. The reason I don't want to go into Follow Me is I want them to actually hit my uh, hit my armors here. So I'm going to Destiny Bond up. I'm going to take down an attacker with me while we're low HP. And we'll go from there. So see you later, Chiyu. See you later, Armors. That's totally fine. Loving little Destiny Bond action. This armor is actually working way better than I thought it would, especially without Tricker. Absolutely amazing. So, Destiny Bond, gonna take down to you. That is just big time plays from us. Destiny Bond coming in clutch. Destiny Bond is such that niche move, right? It's like only good in cer certain situations. Let's see what he goes into. He goes into a Dark Pulse, so that's gonna KO me. That's totally fine. I didn't mind it. I just didn't want to go into a follow me and have Indeedee soak up both shots. And armors get no value out of its Destiny Bond. But now I can bring out both of these guys. Uh, they don't have Terra. We have Terra, don't we? Did I use my Terra? I did. I used it on armor. So no Terra's allowed on the field. We do have Low Kick, which is going to do some nice damage over onto the Chen. And then on top of that, we can eventually Endeavor. But I feel like from here, we should be fine. The Low Kick coming in hot here. Uh, we'll go for the Rock Side. Maybe look for a few flinches. And we'll kind of get it that way. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So armor's coming hot. Doing really good. We're looking for a kind of a flinch there. Our physical attack damage is going to be lowered, but still, we're chunking up some nice damage here. He goes for a substitute. I don't think he has enough HP. He does. But I think we'll buff its hit behind that and KO it. It will. <laughs> so we just killed the Woe Chen with substitute on the field. Awesome second match there. Armor's and DD was definitely MVPs for that one. Final match is on its way, and your boy is hot right now. I'm on a heater, 2-0. Let's make it 3-0. But we're going up against an Oricorio team, which is hilarious. You never really see this Pokemon on the ladder. But it's definitely scary when you're you're going up against Pokemon that you haven't seen. But they also have Murkrow, they have Volcarona, Baxcalibur, Golden Go, and Roaring Moon. Who should I lead? How should I go into it? I definitely want to use Breloom in this battle. <clears throat> I really like Breloom. Super effective onto a few. Got first turn priority. I like this Pokemon a lot. So I'm going to end up leading the Loom. The Bree of the Loom, and then I might just go in the Chiyu as lead. I don't think that's a bad lead, right? I don't think that's a terrible lead. I could actually go into a Pokemon more so like Lycanroc. Or I could actually go Lycanroc Titar for the lead. Because weather, again, is going to be a huge part of this match. So you know what? Lycanroc Titar are going to come in here. And we'll bring Bree Loom and Chiyu as back end Pokemon. Again, dude, the weather is just so big. Especially with the opponents that we're going up against. No way of changing it. Actually, they have Murkrow to change it, but... I mean, if you want to waste a turn going for Sunny Day instead of Tailwind, I would not mind that because then I just get off Rock Slides, I can KO you, we can get after it, we can do it that way. But I wonder who they're going to lead. It's got to be Murkrow and someone else, right? Got to be the Murky Mercs and somebody else. So we'll see. It's going to be Golden Go and Murkrow. So Golden Go and Murkrow, um, not too bad. I mean, I could Terrasalize in the ground. I could Terrasalize in the ground and use my Focus Ash. I kind of really want to do that. I kind of really want to do that and then just drop a rock slide. So rock slide, thrash slides in the ground, and just get rid of gold to go. I think this is my play. I think this is a simple play. And he's going to end up thrash slicing himself too. So he's going to thrash slide. You're going to thrash slice gold to go in a straight steel probably. Yeah, straight steel, totally fine. With me thrash slicing the ground, we should be able to soak it up. And if I had to guess, a tailwind is probably popping out here. It's got to be tailwind into uh, make it rain, which I don't mind. Again, Lycan Rock has the focus ash, which is big. T-Tar should be able to soak pretty easily with this uh, Terror type. And then from there, if Lycanroc is down on 1 HP, Endeavor can do some massive work on the Pokemon. So we'll see. It's got to be Tailwind make it rain. Yep, there's Tailwind. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. We've seen this coming from a mile away. 
I'm really fine with that. Rock Slide is going to hit the Murko, which is good. It's really the only Pokemon I needed to hit. And then Make It Rain comes through here. So Focus Ash is going to proc on my uh, Lycanroc. My boy Titar is able to eat it up. And then Stopping Hanchum can now come out here and whip it up. Just take out the Golden Go for me. Take out the Golden Go. Get rid of this thing. Get rid of this thing. Cool. Awesome. Dope. So we get rid of his Terrasalization too, which is big on top of that. They say bye bye to Golden Go. They do have speed for a little bit. I mean, Lake and Rock is doubled. So we'll see how this one plays. So I do have Endeavor, and I would love to use it. But back to Calibers can come out here, and I think Lycan Rock can outspeed it. I think Lycan Rock could outspeed it. Do we have any Pokemon in backhand? I could actually just double protect and waste out some Tailwind turns, which is probably our best bet, right? Let's waste out some Tailwind turns to kind of go from there. But I really do like Breloom in the back end. I really, really like Breloom as a back end Pokemon. I'm going to double protect, have the buffets, chip up some damage, waste out a, a Tailwind turn. And then we'll get after next match or next uh, play. So Ice Shard is going to come out here. Uh, I do a hard swap in anybody. Probably not. So Lycan Rock's going to die there. Um, foul plays in KO. So they're going to pick up the easy double KO. They're going to pick up the easy double KO. But I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot, right? I don't think we're sitting in a terrible spot. I think we have to let both these Pokemon go out. This Tailwind has how many turns left? Two. It'll be one when we come back out. And we'll just go for the Rock Slide. And then on top of that, we'll go for another Rock Slide. We'll double down with the Rock Slides. <laughs> my, oh, my Lycan Rock does outspeed. That's actually big time. That's actually a big time turn from us. So we're only going to lose one Pokemon. That's really big. We can protect next turn, waste out the Tailwind again. And we'll go from there. Icicle Spear is going to fly. So my T-Tar stays here. My T-Tar stays, and I feel like I had to bring out Breedling. Correct? Is that a correct statement? Probably, right? Actually, oh my god, I forgot T-Tar still has a shot. Oh my god, that's game. That's game. I forgot T-Tar still has Rock Slide coming. That's game set match. I'm surprised he didn't go for the Icicle Spear. I'm really surprised he didn't go for the, uh, not the Icicle Spear, the uh, Ice Shard. That is super surprising. Like, why wouldn't you go for that just to take out my Lycan Rock? Makes no sense. Maybe he thought I was hard swapping, but still. Makes no sense not to go into it. Volcarone is going to come out here for the final Pokemon. That's game set match. We're thriving here. 3-0. Perfect record. I did not think I was going to do this good with uh, today's team. I really didn't, but I will take it all day. We got Aerial Ace on the Breloom. We got Rock Slide coming in hot here. I think our opponent just cancels. Yep, they cancel. 3-0. Perfect record. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. 3-0. Perfect record with a team that I did not think I could get it with. I did not think. I was going to set up for a 1-2 record or even a 2-1 record, but this team absolutely showed out and was fire. Yeah, the T-Tar like and Rock combo did a lot of the heavy lifting in DD and Armory showcase in match number two. And then Chiyu and Breloom were awesome all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.